it is, man. It's your boy, Um P. Uwe your day. BX, we winning. And right now, you rocking out with MVTV. You heard? Hip hop right now. Different genre of music, different artists coming up. And right now, the BX seems to kind of be on top. You got Corey Guns, Fred the Guy's son, producers, now Um P. Mm -hmm. What is Um P giving back to the hip hop, especially to your bro, the Bronx? I'm going to just show them that, that, that we got that good music. That fire music, this is where it started at. So it was only right that it come back right around us, you know what I'm saying? The shouts to Corey doing his thing with Young Money, shouts to Fred doing his thing, that's my bro. And we just trying to put this shit back on the map, you know what I mean? And as y'all can see, if y'all listening to the radio on the internet heavy, that's what we doing. I'm hearing from a couple people that you got another single coming out that's going to be even more crazy. You want you care to share about the new single actually, that's coming got, out after this? Actually, we like all fucked up right now because I got singles, plural. You know what I mean? So right now we in the mix of picking out the best one. So you know what I'm saying? I really don't want to put it out there yet and it not be that one. You know what I'm saying? But we'll definitely get another interview in after after that drop. So you really know what it is, man. But look out. Look out. I got some shit coming. Believe that. I don't think there's no one hit one this shit over here. Niggas is working. Definitely. Who are some of the in-house producers that always working with that's helping you put together your mixtape or your project that you're working on? The producers? I got um my boy Remo the Hitmaker. I got my two brothers, my younger brother, my older brother, Jay Quest and Ty Tracks. Y'all can hit them on Twitter at Brackman1523 and at Ty Tracks, T-Y-T-R-A-C-K-Z. They got that fire, you know what I mean? So... That's mainly it on this on this go around. Some people might have just caught caught your talent or just starting to catch you coming up. I remember seeing you on 106 and Park years ago when you was tearing it up. <coughs> How has life been at the 106 and Park? It's really just been a grind, you know what I'm saying? Like 106 and Park gave me the buzz and it like turned the light bulb switch on for me, letting me know that I could do this. So from from then till now I just been putting in work in the studio heavy putting little videos out, battling. Nigga been all doing all types of shit and we here right now. It's just bit, been a grind. It's a big stereotype that goes on that battle rappers can't make decent songs. But we just spoke about my single, so that's and, dead. And that's dead. And you, <laughs> around the time a couple years ago, you and Murder Moot put out the street album, Stereotypes. Yeah, how shout have out you, to my bro Moot. How have you been breaking that stereotype <coughs> ever since? Has it been hard or is it just... It's just it's just a grind. Like Some people will get frustrated that they ain't making the right music for this time. You know what I'm saying? So they are, they, they are fall back. But me, I was just like, fuck that. I'm going to make this music until I land in this motherfucking game. Like, it was no turning back for me after 106 and Park. I was working. I got a family feed. And they trying to get it. You know what I mean? So we was just working, man. Me and my bro Mook put the album together. Shouts to Be Smooth, my boy, for putting us together. We went in there, knocked the album out. It's on iTunes right now. You could go get that. Stereotypes album. Moon P, Murder Mook. When I looked at who's doing your mixtape, now a lot of people might ask, why didn't you go to Drama and do a Gangsta Grills? Or why didn't you go to Thorough? You chose DJ Enough. What was it about DJ Enough that you said, I'm going to trust my project in your hands instead of going to Drama? Or going to somebody else. You know what it is? Because everybody's used to the dramas. Everybody's used to all of DJs that host mixtapes. Enough don't host mixtapes if you do your research. So it's a bigger impact. Like, damn, if he hosting his shit and he ain't host mixtapes in so long, this shit gotta be some shit. You know what I mean? So, and then he broke the record. He was the first one to play what you're talking about. So it's only right. You know what I'm saying? We let him get the shine on our mixtape and help us push that shit. But it's working, man. It ain't impossible to be out early summer. Crazy. What is what is the story you're trying to tell with this project? You're telling your story? You're telling a story from your hood? Of course. It's all that in one. It's all that in one. It's just letting you know that it ain't impossible. You could do it. You know what I'm saying? You just got to stay working. Stay hungry. Stay hungry and humble and you'll be all right. Remember the double H's. You're going to be all right. Trust me. Has it been hard to maneuver in this industry now that the industry has completely changed? It kind of benefits independent artists. Name some adversities you might have faced coming up in the industry during this era. It's just right now the industry ain't the same. This ain't 10 years ago when you could just walk up in the office and get a deal. Like I done been in every office you could name. From Def Jam to Shady to everything. You know what I mean? And it's just you got to work. You got to put that work in 
So they can know they ain't got to babysit you. They ain't got to develop you. They want you to come ready. So that's why it's working for me now because they starting to see like, damn, his shit everywhere. And he ain't signed to nothing. You know what I mean? So you just got to work and don't chase the labels. Let the labels chase you. One thing I like to ask a lot of hip-hop artists, what does hip-hop mean to you personally? Hip-hop means everything. That's me. Like, even if I wasn't where I'm at right now, I'm still writing. Like, like you can't take that from me. That's my life. Like, that shit helped me get through my day. You know what I mean? Smoke up, listen to some shit. Especially niggas that got balls. That's what I like. You know what I'm saying? I like to hear what niggas saying. Like, I really listen to the lyrics. Like, the hook and all that, that's, that's, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's what's in right now. But I want to know what you talking about. That's why that's the name of my single. Outside of hip-hop, is there anything you trying to do business-wise? Venture off, maybe acting, anything definitely, else? Definitely, definitely. I'm trying to get into everything from acting to real estate to all that clothing line. We trying to do it all, man. We got it all in mind, but we just got to take this off the ground first. Then we could branch out into other stuff. 10, 20 years down the line, when you're ready to hang up the mic, what do you want your legacy to be in hip-hop when people look back and say, Oom P gave this to hip-hop? I want them to say, Oom P bought back when hip hop was born. He brought it back to the game. Last question. Where can the people find you at and what kind of shows or events that you have coming up? Well, you can hit me on that Twitter at OUNP1523. I respond to everybody, hit me up. And I got a, I got a show at SOFA, April 10th, y'all could come out. I got a show in Perfections, April 14th. I got Sue's, me, Jada, Kiss, and Fred is performing in Sue's, April 22nd. That's my homegirl, China B. They the one that actually got Jada to get on the record. And on the 31st, I got a showcase. Donna just was informing me about coming up. You know what I mean? So y'all look out for that. Hit me on that Twitter and find out. Well, yeah, definitely. Her, this nigga, um, Christian Dior is performing there too. So it's a couple good names on that card. You might want to come out. But hit me on that Twitter. And I update y'all.